What is missing in the Fusion 360 personal license? Let's check it out. All right, starting with the all the toolbars, right? The different spaces. Design space is looking good. We'll go into that workspace in a minute. Generative is gone. We'd have to subscribe to get that. Simulation is gone. Okay, those two are gone. It looks like anytime there's these little blue plus signs, that's the giveaway that something's missing. When I come in to start a sketch and start designing, everything's looking pretty normal to me. I haven't seen anything in you know the modeling and design capabilities so far that um, is missing for the hobbyist user. Okay, uh, looking at surface, it's there. Sheet metal, haven't seen anything yet. Um, you know, quick scan, don't see any of that. It wasn't mentioned in the write-ups either that I noticed. Um, even the utilities, we you can still um, access the different scripts and add-ins in the App Store. That's all still working. I can still send to my slicer, Mesh Mixer, and in my case, Simplify 3D. I was able to import an STL, and I'm able to bring up the Mesh workspace and manipulate it. Um, I was able to uh, render as well. Let's launch something else. Render's a little bit different um, in that it only allows a local render. It looks like you can't leverage the cloud render. Let's look at drawing. Okay, so when it comes to making drawings, there's um, some differences here. So everything is kind of looking the same for the sheets and the two standards. But when I place a view and create a projected view. Everything's looking okay with the functionality of the drawing. What's missing is these exports, and that's kind of a bummer. I can't export to PDF, CSV, but there is a way around this or a way to get the PDF, which is to come down to the print. And I was able to print to an Adobe PDF. I was able to send to Snagit, and I have that document and can work with it. I, of course, can save the drawing in Fusion second page that's gone so that's uh, a subscribe now um, if you want to do multi-page from the drawing okay one of the gotchas that i was reading about was multiple files open like they mentioned something about 10 active documents and i have way more than 10 open and i'm not getting any messages i'm not getting any problems so i'm curious um, if this is functionality that um, is just uh, going to be left in um, or if this is going to be changing in the future. Okay, when you look at the upload, go to the select files. So if I want to bring in a solid part or a SolidWorks file, I go uh, upload, select that, um, and then it's going to process it. So it comes in, but this will just launch me into my A360 account. Um, so the data is there, but as far as using it, I can't uh, find a way to work with um, additional CAD files. So I haven't found a way to work with Inventor or SOLIDWORKS files to this point. Love some feedback from the community if you guys have found a way to make that work. When you go to the pull down, you'll notice that a new drawing template is also a subscribe only feature. Okay, let's look at the export list. I noticed that F3D and FBX, all these others that were included in the write-up are there, but there's also the inventor part is available. So if we export that, looks like the export for inventor part is working and there should be an inventor assembly if you do have multiple bodies or an assembly. Okay, now for the manufacturing workspace. Um, that is uh, where a limitation definitely exists. You look at the main menu, everything looks kind of the same. But when it comes to like no multi-axis milling, probing, tool changing, rapid feed, those things aren't there. Simulation is still available um, for the tool paths and we can still send to a slicer right in the manufacturing space for 3D printing if, you, if this is your preferred method. Hey, so I'm making a separate video where I'm going to share my opinion of Fusion 360's personal use license of is this still a great solution, you know, for you hobbyists out there. Separate video for that. Just want to cover the features that are still showing up in the free personal license for hobbyists. Hey, and um, like I said before, Post down in the comments below features that you think are missing that I didn't cover or just something that needs um, some more explanation or if you have questions 
about the features and tools in the free license. I'll see you in the next video.